Chapter 13 Conflicting Ren Union Get me a drink, Naveed, please. Sure thing. Thanks. Ren's been gone for a while now. A few weeks, it seems. We'd be keeping in touch whenever possible. He's on Route 10 looking for materials for my project. I have to talk about Nim and Nastasha. Are you to tell me that I'm getting too close? That's exactly what I'm going to say. You need to relax. We both know that kid has ulterior motives, at the least. You okay with this? Don't we all? Every single one of us is here because we have we want something, right? Besides, you have the power to report him if if he ever has any issues. Then... Wait, Naveed, don't tell me. You have a sp soft spot for the brat, too. You, you two have been training together quite often. I like his dedication. His improvement is staggering, too. Nearly swept me last time we battled. I only won because of a good old-fashioned critical hit. Sooner or later, I'm sure he'll surpass both of us. That's what I'm worried about. Naveed, what do you want? I want my daughter to live a long and happy life. Nothing more. I don't know if this is the right place for that dream. It's the only place for it. Sasha, what do you want? What drives you to do the things you do? What I want... It's not about what I want. It's always about what you want. It's what keeps us humans alive. Thanks for the drink, Naveed. It's always fun to talk to you. Evading the question, I see. But no matter. I enjoyed that talk as well. Listen. Really, it's only you and I here for most of the time now. When things get rough, we only have each other to rely on. Don't let that loner attitude get you into trouble. It's inappropriate to flirt in the workplace. I only have love for my wife. I'm just being a friend. I was just kidding. Don't worry. Thanks, though. I'll keep your words in mind. What? Did you say something, Juan? Uh, what was that loud thud? Uh, what time is it? We saw Alita off in the morning, then we crashed. Someone in our room. Oh no! Oh no, it's a bot from the Puppet Master. Hold on, let me get Aaron. And that's basically when we ran into this box here. We didn't have any scheduled deliveries today. Even if we did, they get left at the front door. Maybe Sella left it in here for us? Sella's not here at the moment. She went to town for supplies. So, someone walked into our room, then just dropped us off. Yep. This place isn't as safe as it is. No worries, you'll learn that quickly. Anyway, we open again or not? Juan, you open it. You say so. Yay! Thanks, Juan! You can open it now. So, what's inside? Oy vey. Just a bunch of books. Books on top of more books. It's just a bunch of books from... Uh, the Blakery and Nafium? That name sounds familiar. Wait. All these books have been checked out by Rune. Yeah, every single last one of them. They say Strange Phenomenons 101 and how to... I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah, but what about this one? Maria Region. Origins. That's the region Katu talked about on Route 4. What is this book doing in here? Why did Rune check it out? Oh, in this book, it has Rune's library card. What the heck sent this box to us like this? Maybe it was the Puppet Master himself. Maybe they want us to go to the Anaphium, or whatever it's called. Maybe they want us to go to the Anaphium, or whatever it's called. Hmm. Cool's on a scholar jig trick. We just have to go s from Newt 9. Alright then. Let's we'll see what they have to offer. Yep, it looks like things are all up and running. It means that the scholar district is open to the public again. It's been a while since I've been there, so I hope things are still the same. Anyway, let's take Amelius along. Really, what could have been so important? Sorry, sorry, I'm here now. She changed her look again. It took a while, but I'm ready and officially reporting for duty. Reporting for duty? Oh, don't mind me, I just wanted to say that. Okay, so we're heading to the Blakery and Appium, right? You're awfully cheery today. It's kind of disgusting. But yeah, that's right, it's not a hard place to find once we're inside the district. Awesome, let's get a move on then. Uh-huh. Hello, Absol. Why do you walk up to us immediately like that? Eh, looks like this place is about the same, which is nice. Anyway, the Nafium is just southeast of here. Don't take too long. Alright, come on, Melia. One step at a time. Visiting this place never gets old. I guess that feeling hasn't gone away. 
But we have work to do. Another place where we'll be able to start without being interrupted. You're going ahead. I'll be right there. Suit yourself. Um, excuse me. Hello, how may I help you? Those what are girls by chance to gym here. Yes, that's correct, but if you want to challenge the gym leader, you'll have to wait. Lavender is currently at the Hospital of Hope. Lavender is a gym leader to Blakery and Nafium? Well, okay, thank you. No problem, I'll be here if you need me. We already have our badge, so it's kind of pointless. Okay, let's get started. We have a lot to discuss. You read that book last night, right? Mayor Regions of Origins? I did, and I learned some pretty interesting stuff. So interesting that I thought that I would have thought a book has a work of fiction if it weren't for the circumstances. What did you learn? Well, for starters, the Mayra region was a place that existed long before Avium. The region itself is located nine hours west of Avium. But the thing is, the Mayra region has been completely abandoned. Huh? The citizens of the region had to flee due because of a nuclear meltdown at the Mayra nuclear plant. This is where it gets interesting and where Katsu's words start to make sense. The first citizens of the Avium region are the people who fled Mayra are one and the same. When the Mayra nuclear plant went under, the entire region fled east and ended up on uncharted shores. And that's how Avium was discovered. That's correct, that's not all I learned. There were three things that stuck out to me while reading. The incident at the plant was caused by ten individuals, all died at the site. Eight of them were unidentified, but for some strange reason, the knife and tense ones were. And who were they? The ninth person was a woman named Freya. She was part of the international police and was discovered to be the reason the plant went under. I learned those two bits of information, I couldn't find anything else on her. Hmm, as for the tenth individual? I'll get to that in a sec, let me continue for now. Gotcha. The second thing is a little bit more relevant to us. It turns out the Mayra region wasn't free of mass crime either. There was another evil team running around and causing havoc, but that's not what sticks out to me. The team that terrorized Mayra was also called Team Zen. Yeah, they existed more than 50 years ago. But not like our Team Zen, there was no Madam X. In fact, their leader wasn't a Madam at all, he was male. If I remember correctly, his name was Lord Xenadin. Xenadin? Presumably the name Team Zen comes from his name, and coincidentally this Lord Xenadin was the 10th victim. If Lord Xenadin was also a casualty, it means this isn't the same Team Zen. The one we've been fighting up to this point has been the second iteration. And that's not even the best part! That's the third and final thing that struck out to me. That very same nuclear plant was owned not other by the Blakeries. Blakeries own that means Seems like they were involved in all of this, even back then, somehow. Everything's connected. The Blakeries and Team Zen. What exactly is their true relationship? That's what we're here to figure out, but it does give what Katsu said some context. She said she wanted to restore the Mayra region so we can go back. That confirms what this book says is true, at least in that aspect. I can't say the rest is too accurate, there's just not enough data. I see, in that case we should start looking around. Seems you know a lot more about this than one and I. So you just lead the way and we'll do our best. Understood, Melia. I'm going to need you to talk to the receptionist and find out what Rune took this book out. Leave it to me. I'll do my very best. As for you, Juan, I'm going to need you to find out where Room got some of these books. They're real exclusive looking books, so perhaps look for a pedestal or something. If I remember correctly, there were three here last I visited. The library changes its layout often to showcase new exhibits, so it may not be there anymore. Hmm, three pillars, huh? Oh. Who would possibly find it appropriate to bother me? Uh, of course it's you. I must say I'm impressed. I didn't really take you for the intellectual type. Seeing you in here has changed my opinion of you. Not that there was much of an opinion anyway. Oh no. Oh, Juan. Fancy meeting you here. What's up? Hey, have you seen Aaron around? She told me to come by. Yeah. Seriously, what is this poor orphan boy doing here? Quite right a long orphan boy. There's nothing for you at an institution like this. I'm annoying. <laughs> and I see Reyna's just in the corner. What did you just say? You heard me, peasant. Don't play dumb. By the way, where's that putrid rap that accompanies you? The one that defiled my face. You remember that, don't you? I won't forget that moment ever. By the looks of it, your face won't either. Are you implying that there's a mark? Because that's impossible. I hired an elite makeup artist to cover that foul bruise she left. 
Any evidence of that incident happening is no longer visible. Whatever you say, dude. By the way, I heard Lavender was in the hospital. Serves her right. You know what they say about karma, yes? Hey, don't talk about Lavender like that. Take it back now. I'll take nothing back. The truth hurts sometimes, Huey. And if you can't handle the truth, then you don't deserve to be in the same room as me. Say that to my fist, Thomas Blakery. Whoa, <laughs> not. You can't, you people can't just hit me every time I tell the truth. I don't know, your face is pretty punchable. You just make it easy too. You think this is funny? Fine. If that's how it is. Security! S security? Damn it. So, am I getting arrested or something? No, but you're not allowed back in for the rest of the day. Cool off, calm down, come back tomorrow. Eh, fine. I don't really like books anyway. Oh, that sucks. At least only I got in trouble, though. I'd feel really bad if you got in trouble, too. What the hell is going on? <laughs> hey, Aaron. Don't get mad at Juan. This was all my fault. Not angry. I'm just annoyed. It's different. Anyway, I don't really have much for you to do other than what I told you before. So just leave this to Melly and I. You and Huey go do whatever you want. But don't slack off too much. The tournament's going to begin soon. Log group in front of the library once we're done with everything. Uh, sure. Well, we might as well hang around since we're both here. I was going to ask you if you wanted to visit Lavender, but they aren't accepting visitors anymore. Come on, there's a park just south of here. Erin called me to the library because she said she found things ruined owned. Ran over and got in trouble as soon as I got there. <laughs> but I can't stand that Thomas Blakery. It gets me so mad! Eh, <sighs> Rune used to bring me to this park all the time when I was younger. She's been gone for so long now. There's been no breakthroughs. I'm trying to stay happy and optimistic, but damn, it's hard. Rune, hope you're doing okay. Man, you slugged that guy! Come on, it's me, Reyna, Ren's sister. We haven't seen each other for quite a while, yeah? I think it was since Valor Mountain. Yeah, I've gotten four badges since then. Thanks for saving me back then, by the way. If you didn't help me, I would have gone out anyway. But it's a thought that counts. Uh, hey there. I don't think we've met. Yeah, yeah, introduction's out the way. Let's get started. Judical District Courtroom Number 4, Flora's Trial. Quiet down, everyone. Everyone, please quiet down. Flora Gravella, your trial is about over. Is there anything else you would like to add? There's nothing else I'd want to say to you, you stupid judge. My word! I never thought that the sweetheart of Grand Dream City would have such a mouth. Yeah, well, too many sweets can kill you. Don't you know that, judge? Of course I knew that. I was just... I don't care. We all know what the answer is going to be. So please, give out your sentence already and save us the time. Flora, please behave. Very well then, Flora. On multiple accounts of treason and terrorism, I hereby find the descendant to be guilty. Unfortunately for you, Ms. Gravella, the punishment for all these accounts is death. Your execution will be held on a later date, if... Please, Your Honor, I have something to say. Florin, I was just about to give my sentence, but go on. I realize what Flora's done is incredibly bad, but... I would ask that you not give her the death penalty. On what grounds? I'm asking this as a personal favor. For all the work I've done for the city, I beg you to at least let her live. Hmm. I see. Well, in that case, I could pull a string or two. What's the point of doing that, Florin? I mean, life in prison is practically death. What's the point of living? Flora, don't say stuff like that. What? You think I would wait every week with bated breath for you to come visit me or something? And frankly, I don't even see you as my brother anymore, so don't talk to me like I'm your sister. You're nothing but another obstacle to tear down when I get the opportunity, you sniveling little mongrel, you insufferable Creedon. It's no wonder Fodder didn't choose you for this role. You have no backbone, no spine. You do well as a politician. Fodder? So go ahead and announce your sentence, Judge. Whether it be death or life in prison, it means absolutely nothing to me. Despite your poor attitude, I will do what Florin asks me and spare your life. <laughs> spare my life? My life was never in danger, Judge. Hmm? What are you talking about? Did you really think you all could have confined me so easily? As if I didn't have a plan for this exact situation. Flora? What are you up to? 
Don't make this any worse for yourself. Stop talking. Your voice is like nails on a chalkboard. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm afraid I have to run. Laura, I always you to silence yourself. I will never be silenced. Go fuck yourself, judge. Guards, hold Miss Gravella in contempt. Do it now, you stupid grunts. Now! Adios, fuckers. See you in hell. You really excited me to believe no one just moved? Oh yeah, I'm so good at this game. Hey, no fair. It's clear you played volleyball before. What's that sound? It's the sound of a sore loser. Raina got ten, Juan and Huey got zero. Zero, zero. I'm a ducking hero. Ducking? Oh yeah, I'm almost swore, didn't I? My lips are sizzling for the spiciness. Besides, your team had two players and it was only me on my side. Man, whatever. I'm done with this game. Really? Hmm. All right. I guess that's fine. It was fun, though. We should play again sometime, Huey. Yeah, fun. Fun for you, maybe. Okay, okay. If you guys aren't having fun, then I guess the game's over. Let's head on out. What are you guys up to now? Uh, nothing really. My friend Lavender is in the hospital recovering, and my apartment's kind of filled with hooligans, so... I'm kind of stuck doing nothing for a little while. Nothing, huh? Are you guys be interested in helping me with something? Yeah, what do you need? Juan already knows about this, but my brother ran away from home a long time ago. I'm sure he's fine, and I'm not the one type of, to get anxious over stuff like this. But I need to make sure something is going right. Hmm, sure. Do you know where he might be? Not a clue. That's where you two come in. We keep asking people. Um. What the? Yeah, we got him. Take that, Juan. Hey, man, this is totally not cool. Hey, are you sure this is Juan? I'm sure it is. I have this very accurate drawing of them in crayon. Hmm, okay, I believe you. Let's take him to the chasm and chuck him in like we planned. Our boss is going to be so proud of us. <laughs> so proud. Okay, but do you guys take criticism? Only while crying. Right, so, just a suggestion, but can you guys not? Criticism denied. Our work is perfect. Stop. Let me go. Why am I always being caged up anyway? I feel like this happens far too often. Hey, take my criticism. Stop. Uh, looks like they're heading up to Route 9. Hey, again, this is only a suggestion. Could we please let me go? Taking criticism could be good for you, you know. Like I said, I only take criticism while crying. You guys are idiots anyway. You totally stole the wrong persons. Idiots. Dude, it's not cool. <laughs> I'm going to cry now. Just in time. Now you actually hear what I have to say. Let Reyna go this instant. Reyna? This is one. I don't know how else to explain to you that you're not very smart. Quiet, you. I don't want to hear you speak anymore. Your voice sounds so shaky. You're not actually crying, are you? I'm an emotional man, okay? I'm sensitive and require love and affection. <laughs> sure, whatever, man. I've had enough of you all. It's time to let go. You guys are finished. Now let Reyna go. We're just gonna isolate ourselves and warp safely away, but it looks like you guys had to be utter chorps and follow us. You'll be mad if you end up in a bad spot. It's a teleportation, Grunt 2. I have a name, you know. Yep, and it's Grunt number 2. Now hit it. Okay, where are we going? Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Can you repeat that? I couldn't hear that. Seriously, Reyna, I can't hear what you're saying. I said, how come that fall didn't hurt at all? Hmm, I should mention it. The fall didn't hurt us either. We just kind of plopped and got back up as if nothing happened. It's really strange, but I guess we shouldn't complain. By the way, Reyna, how did you get down here? Did they just drop you here or something? No, but they were going to. I think we got shot down or something. Yeah, we were hovering in the air until we got hit by something. I think those blade star grunts fell down here with me or something. Oh, that must have been what that loud crash was earlier. Makes sense to me. But where are we? They call this place the void, but I've never heard of such a place. Oh, we're in the void? There's gas around? What's going on? My saber knife isn't working properly. Why well, isn't working either? Maybe it's experienced interference or something. Don't know. My Pokedex seems to be working fine. 
Boeing operates on internet connection, so it's possible there's just no signal down here. Hey, take a look at that! It's those blades sorry grunts from before. Youch, that was not a nice landing. Yeah, I think I broke my arm. Except I didn't get hurt at all. How do you get hurt, but also not get hurt? Who cares, let's just get unstuck here. Who's this creep now? You're asking me? I don't know, but he just stopped us from escaping, so he's definitely a weirdo. Wasting your time running away. All I was trying to do was help you find your way out of here. Yeah, sure. That's not what you were trying to do. I'm not stopping you now, am I? Huh, I guess that's true. Let's get out of here. Hey, why'd you let those creeps get off scot-free? I was just about to punch their teeth and you got ruined everything. Hmm, those two. They're harmless. Might as well let them go. I don't care if they're harmless. They got us in this mess and I'm angry. I want my revenge, damn it. Man, I just let it go. They're long gone now. We could probably catch up to them if you started running, but I'm not gonna let that happen. Is there a reason you're getting in our way? Hooded boy. I'm, uh, guessing this is Ren. Because I'm pretty sure Zeta was the only one with, uh, that Pokemon. That's a nice shiny sprite, I'll give you that. That's about enough. Those grudges should be safe by now. You act all evil, but you only carry one Pokemon. I mean, not that I can say anything about having a lot of Pokemon. Not sure what strength has to do with the amount of Pokemon you have. But sure, I guess if that's what strength means to you, I'm weak. Hey, you sound really familiar. Uh... Hey, what are you doing? I know your voice from somewhere. Take off this hood right now. Hey, stop it! It's rude to remove a man's hood. Yep, knew it. Ren! Is it really that noticeable? I was trying to mask it. I've been looking for you everywhere. Why'd you just leave home like that? Sorry. Just had to get out of that town. I wouldn't get stronger by just staying in that echo chamber. So it wasn't because of me? What? Of course it wasn't. It's reassuring, but also... Ow! What the hell is that for? You let those Blatar grunts go when we needed to catch up to them. You know, Ren, this is why you'll never get a girlfriend. Uh-huh. You do dumb stuff like this all the time. Were you even thinking about anything? What do you have done all this time without me? How have you not died? I see you haven't changed a bit. But for your information, I let those grunts go because there's no point in chasing. When you and those blades are grunts fell, you broke through the bridge. Come on now, you remember at least that much. Don't belittle me, of course I remember. After all, I fell flat on my face because of that. How do you even know about all this? What do you think shot them down? Pretty stylish of me, huh? Well, while I... well... Well, while it looked cool, it could have ended up way worse than it did. But it didn't end badly, did it? Learn to trust your brother, Reyna. Uh, sorry not to introduce, intrude or anything, but if they crash through the bridge, doesn't that mean we're trapped here? Oh, yeah, it does. No worry, though. There are people guarding the entrance often. I'm sure it'll be fixed within a few hours or something. Fantastic. Uh, hey, Juan. It's been a while, hasn't it? It's okay if you don't want to say anything. I understand this is, like, super awkward. Why would it be awkward? Raina, there's something I have to tell you. What? Why are you talking so seriously all of a sudden? I kind of, uh... Join Team Zen. I guess something like that would make this awkward. This guy's a part of Team Zen? <laughs> Don't play around like that. You're joking, right? Ren, you're joking. Please tell me you're joking. But, but why would you? How could you? I would like to tell you, but I can't. I made a promise to someone. I understand if your respect for me has fallen, but this is something I have to do. You don't have to do anything. You had a choice and you clearly made it. Anyway, like I said, we have a few hours to kill, so it's probably best if you all found a corner for the night and got cozy. I'm pretty cold in this place, but Flareon's body heat just makes it a source of warmth. Hey, now you said that was your brother, right? Person you've been roaming around Avium to find? I know you mentioned that, but the way you described him, he didn't sound like the type of person to join an organization like Team Zen. It's because he isn't. 
Or at least wasn't. That's what's so disappointing to me. It's also really, really scary. Yeah, those guys can be scary, but they've been pretty docile lately. No, that's not what I meant. What do you mean, then? Long time ago, when my mother was pregnant, she decided to go see an oracle. My mother already knew she was going to have twins, but she went because she wanted to have fun, I guess. You and Ren are twins? Yeah, not identical, but... My mom went in there because she wanted to see if the oracle was a real deal or not. Like I said, for fun. Sure enough, she predicted that she'd have twins. But she also predicted that my mother's... She also predicted something that my mother could have never imagined. She said that Red and I would be close, but eventually, one of us would drift away and fall to darkness. That would work to end this world. The other would fight to preserve it. That's... Uh... A pretty heavy prediction. And of course, despite getting the twins prediction correct, my mother didn't believe a word. She told me the story on a whim one day because she thought it would be funny. Bet she thought I would just find the story interesting, but I... I believed it the moment she told me, and I tried everything in my power to stop it from happening. Fortunately, Ren left without notice one day. That's why I knew for certainty that the Oracle's prediction would come true. I searched for Ren, and now, here we are. My brother. Hope to God that this whole thing is just a coincidence. Oh, it's not. It's definitely not. Hopefully you all had a good rest. Oh, oh yeah. How do you sleep, Ren? Oh, me? I couldn't really sleep. I kept tossing and turning. I guess that's to be expected, though. Who else would sleep in a place like this? I'm not too far from the exit, actually. So if we hurry, we ought to get out of here quickly. Bro? I guess that's to be expected, though. Who would sleep well in a place like this? Huh? Are you trying to be something or funny, Ren? Uh, dude, you okay? I guess that's to be expected, though. Most would sleep in a place like this. We're not too far from the exit, so if we hurt- Hey, stop it! Huh, what? You're about to repeat yourself for the third time, dude. I- I- I was? Oh. Sorry about that. I don't really- Uh. That was strange. You sure your brother's alright there? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. I need a milkshake. Stats. So we're living in desert? This is a desert? I know I'm not a huge geography buff, but I'm pretty sure we're far from the city. There's only one place in Avion that has a vast desert like this one. We're in the middle of the Badlands, it seems. The Badlands? I heard stories about this place. It's riddled with thugs and thieves. It used to be a place like that, but that's not really the case anymore. You now that just shows how ignorant people are beyond the Badlands. Perhaps it's for the best, considering what happened to Alamasia. Alamisa? Alamisa? Who's that? Uh, it isn't a person, but I'm sure you'll learn more about it. Anyway, I know someone in the village southwest from here. He should be able to bring you back to the city. After that, I'll be off again. You say so. Come on, guys. Hmm? What's this? Wait. Isn't this... This is where... This is where we went when we died on Valor Mountain. Yeah, the... The house... The... So this is where Crescent brought us, huh? Hmm, I guess that must have been a memory from the past. This place is dead now. <sighs> it was quite a walk, but it seems like we made it. It's Salisha Village. I've been here a few times on my travels. The people here are quite nice and welcoming, despite their upbringing. Hey, Andre, you, you three should talk with the village chief. I'll get you guys back home. Sorry for all this trouble. Ren, are you really going to leave? We haven't spoken in over a year, and this is how things are going to end? Sorry, Reyna. It's a little complicated. But once you guys get back to the city, you should grab everyone you care about and leave. Leave Grand Dream City and don't come back. Trust me. Yeah, I've got everything under control. Just calm down, alright? Um, who was he talking to? I don't know, but that message he gave us, grab everyone we love and leave, It's quite an ominous message. Well, if he wants us to leave, that's up to him. If he wants to leave to Grand Dream City, that's fine. I just want to go back home to Golden Leaf Town. 
Out of all the places you could have gone, this is the place you chose. Tired of running, I'm here to face things directly. Ooh, Alexandra and, uh, what's his name, Damien? Alexandra, what do you even plan- Ah, uh, what? Huh? I thought you said you'd be here by tomorrow. Juan, my friend, it's still good to see you. Here, that means Cannon was able to find you? You find a chief, Juan? Huh? I'm sorry, but I'm a little confused. Who are these two? I'm Reyna, this is Huey, nice to meet you, introductions out the way. We got into this huge ruckus with some blades, our grunts, and they teleported us into this chasm. We didn't really come here because you requested anyone. You all fell into the voidal chasm? Ah, uh, I see. Denise Candle is not the one who brought you here. Consider yourselves very lucky. People who fall into the chasm seldom make it out. That being said, it must be fate that you ended up in this village, Juan. I request the cannon to go find you. I can't say anything for Reyna and Huey, but Juan has been involved in this long before my request. Sister, please, understand your position, but it's my job to protect you, so let me deal with this instead. Everyone, I'm going to have to ask you to leave immediately. We want to leave, but we don't have ours. We can't leave by ourselves, bird brain. B bird brain? Yes, bird brain. If you're rude, I'll be rude back. All I want is for someone to escort us back to Grand Dream City. And I will happily do it. Just don't waste time and meet me outside. Juan, please stay. This is very important. There's something I want to prove to Damien, but I'm still waiting on the other two people to arrive. I say you least remain till tomorrow. Juan, stay in here what she has to say. I guess sticking around at least one night wouldn't hurt. You won't regret this. Gee whiz, I did not expect to be thrown around like this when I woke up today. What do we even do at this point? We have a whole desert village to explore. Heck, an entire desert. So I guess if we have time to kill, we can just do whatever we want for a little while. When we're done, we should meet there. Okay, so this lady says that she can offer information for us. We just have to pay a fine, so let's see what Alita's doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looks like I got some saucy info on that hot-getted girl. When Alita was young, she admired Kita and shared him very much. For Kita's birthday, Alita thought it would be nice to bake a cake for him. Alita asked the eldest for help, and she agreed. The eldest gave Alita a list of ingredients for Kita's cake. Unfortunately, Alita still couldn't read properly. The recipe called for eggs, milk, butter, and cinnamon. She was able to collect the eggs, milk, and butter successfully, but she had used those already. It was different for cinnamon. She couldn't read it properly. She didn't want to disappoint everyone, so she gathered any ingredients as requested. Baked them all into the batter. While it baked, the eldest claimed the cake had a weird smell. While sweating bullets, she confessed that she didn't know what cinnamon was. The eldest took the cake out, and it turned out Leah put eggs, milk, butter, and cilantro. She totally ruined that cake. The eldest couldn't help but laugh. Poor Leah couldn't help but cry her eyes out. That's all I've got for now. Okay. What about Tesla, then? Oh boy, do I have a scoop for the wielder of the Golden Flame. Her parents died when she was young. She had no pictures of them, no memories. Not like they never existed. But Tesla was interested in their heritage, so she decided to take a test and figure out her lineage. Turns out her father was a foreign man from a faraway region. Fortunately, she couldn't find much information when it came to her mother. The doctors had no records, but it was determined that she was a native. She refused to give up, so she decided to find out the truth herself. She visited many places around Avium, but she couldn't find anything. During a harsh and brutal storm, Tessa was knocked off her talon flame into the ocean. A few days she washed up against the shore and was nursed back to health by the people native to that area. When she woke up, she found people who looked similar to her. She thought it was a long shot, but she took another test. Test that the village had prepared for their own kind. Turns out the village where she washed up was the very same place her mother had been born. Tesla thanked the people there and left as happy as she can be. That's all I have for Tesla. Please come up. Hmm? The name of the village she washed up in? Mm <laughs> hmm. Village she ended up in was this very same village. It's true. Tesla is a Sashalin woman. Okay then. Okay, so she's native from here. Karen. Oh, that one is hard to track. I'll be charging you a bit more than usual. Karen was obsessed with ruin excavation and tomb reading. But it turns out that she's doing that because she's trying to figure out her own past. Turns out she may be from an ancient royal family, but they're long forgotten. One day she found a ruin of her own family, but it was heavily guarded by Garuf and magic. 
In order to open the way, she would have to use the magic, but she was inexperienced. She took on an advanced spell and failed miserably. If not done successfully, Griffin magic can come with harsh consequences. Because she failed, she lost her mental stability. Her mind warped her view, and she became volatile. She hid herself for many years until her mind got the best of her. She became her own worst enemy. Damn, so Karen wasn't always evil? Or crazy? Doctor, things are going well with Lavender. Her levels are all stable. It seems there's even an increase in compatibility as of late, by 3% as a matter of fact. Good, good. In that case, I'll leave her to the rest. We'll need her to be as strong as she possibly can for her big day. Of course, Doctor. Forgive me, but I don't think I'll stick around for that day, Isha. It's abuse. I'm not sick, and therefore I don't need to be here. I need to escape here quickly. I don't have my own Pokémon to help me. I can't rely on them for everything. Alright, if I can get to the elevator, I should be able to get out of here. We're playing as Lavender now? Doctor? I thought I heard something. Doctor, everything's ready for examination now. Ah, right. Very well done. Time's of the essence. What does he want with Lavender? Way, way, way too close for comfort. He should never hangs around this floor at night. Why is night difference? Let's please get there quickly. Why aren't you working? The elevator is moving at all. He must have turned it off. Why would he shut off an elevator in a hospital? He really must not anyone to come and find me down here. All those years pulling books off of tight shelves better come in handy here. Come on. Come on! Open up! Eureka, I've done it. Well then, if I can't take the elevator, I'll just have to climb out. I'm on level B3, which means up three floors below the ground floor. What's that down there? Is that a hatch? Something like that can't be good if it's in a hospital of all places. I want to get out of here. Now's the perfect opportunity. But if I get out of here, people will think I've lost it. If I can get proof of his corruption, I'll not only help myself, but everyone who Isha has hurt. Better take the risk. This panel's asking for a passcode. There's no doubt that the code would be somewhere in Isha's office. Here we go. It's been quite some time, Naveed. Oi, ever since that show you and Madame X had at the lounge. How have you been holding up? Still serving beer and all of that at the bar? I've been doing what I can. Madame X still isn't too fond of my failure. But if she's keeping me around, then she must have something in mind. Anyway, why did you call me? Why meet up here? I think you know why, Naveed. A long time ago, Gira, Zeta, and I had told each other what we fought for. Everyone was willing to share except for you and Astasia. What does this have to do with anything? There's a girl here in extensive care with an unknown disease. She has heterochromia, just like you. You do realize I'm not the only person in the world with heterochromia, right? Right, but she told me her father also had heterochromia. And she also told me that her father was a well-known sailor in the Neverwinter area. Now doesn't that sound familiar? She's your daughter, isn't she? Francesca. Hmm, looks like they moved somewhere else. Strange conversation indeed. Okay, so his daughter's on this floor. You see, it's just computer. I'm expecting it to ask for passcode. What? It's not needed. That's really weird. Oh, whatever. There are a few things I can look at here. The patient profiles, Risa Raider. Age 18, born June 19th. Uh, status, terminally cured. Ah, Risa Raider's profile's here amongst other. Wait, her status was terribly ill? Or rather was? There's no way this was public information. If something like this got out to the public, it would cause an unstoppable storm. A storm of support for Risa, of course, but a storm is a storm. I find it weird that she has marked as terminally ill and suddenly cured. When one is terminally ill, that means it's over for them, right? Did Risa Raider experience some sort of miracle? Let's see, Mosley Kermichol. Ooh. Age 8, status missing. City, District, Pope. Oh, so... Oh, so Mosley's originally from Grand Dream City. Seems like they were born in the District Pope. 
Ah, oh, she was so young too. Only eight years old. Hopefully she turns up. Lavender Bloom. Age 16. It's my own profile. Makes me even look at this file. I don't belong here. But Isha won't let me leave. Betty he told Hubie that I was coming down with a fever when he tried to visit me earlier. Isha, you make me sick. She's from Oblivious Town. Ooh, that's new. Veronica Vassell. Venom, you took the bullet from me back then. You were being aggressive when you found me by the fountain in the central building. I didn't really appreciate it at the time, but now I realize you were just trying to help me. Took the risk I shouldn't have, and now you've been turned to stone. Guess me reading this right now proves I haven't learned a thing. There's one thing I value over everything, it's the truth. I won't stop until you're saved. Believe me. Talon Atri- whatever that last name is. Atridaeus? Hospitalized? This file's completely wrong. What happened here? Talon is definitely not 45, and he's definitely not from Akua Town. I'm not sure about the birthday part, but I'm pretty sure he was born on July 24th. Anyway, it's really careless for a hospital to get something so wrong. Ooh, is there a conspiracy going on? Unknown file. Let's see, unknown, approximately 53, status release, city from Kanto. Ooh, is this Kata? Okay, that's odd. This file has no name or date of birth. Usually when that happens, it means that the patient can't remember where or who they are. All enough, the place of birth is actually still here. Vaguely. There's, there's not much else to look at, I guess. So that's either Kita or, or Deegan. Okay, archives. Dr. Isha Halvard. Isaiah Halvard, a profound brain surgeon and doctor who lived in Abium pre-Calamity. Isaiah was famous for his incredibly 99 success rate with his procedures. Though he was great, unfortunately his legacy ended in tragedy. Undeniable proof of medical abuse and malpractice against his only son was found. He was thrown in jail for his actions but escaped his confinement lo long after. He then took his son and went missing. Weeks later, he was found dead at his home with his son nowhere to be found. He died shortly before his... 50th birthday? It's all this now. It's all crazy. Why is this on Isha's computer? This stuff doesn't even seem relevant, so I'm not going to pay attention to it too much. Last but not least, this. Hello? Ah, this H is just a bunch of numbers with an H in the middle. Something weird with the H in the middle, though. What does this have anything to do with the passcode? Okay, so let's try a couple passwords. Eight, four, three, three. Oh, it worked. I can't believe that actually worked. Huey, I... Right, so he's not here. Down we go, I guess. Okay, what conspiracy are we going to be presented with now? Okay, this doesn't look like a hospital anymore. I have a bad feeling about this. That noise. Looks like someone's crying. This window's a tad bit foggy, but I can kind of see what's going on. Wait a minute. It can't be. How disappointing. This isn't giving us any good results. Just how exactly are we supposed to extract a memory from this one if they refuse to cooperate? Because it doesn't want that to happen, obviously. Much to our dismay, but he'll succumb to us eventually. We need to be patient or else Ishtar will be extremely ir irritated with us. And you know how he gets when things don't go his way. Gregson! Well seriously now, come on, get up. It wasn't that bad. All I did was try to break your mind, nothing more than that. Wait, so are these guys responsible for Valerie and Adam acting different? Why would he want... It's just so awful. How could they do this? I, I have to have that Gregson somehow. Hey, there's something around here that'll disable the machine. This panel seems to control whether it is in that next room. Sorry, but I'm turning you off. Memory detacher system offline. Seriously? Well, here they come. She better hide somewhere. And help out that breaks in and get out of here. Hey, are you okay? Please get up. Uh, I'm going to get you out of here, okay? So please just follow me. Hold on, didn't Melly and Venom tell me about knowing a breaks in? Yeah, I remember now, she just 
she suddenly disappeared with a couple of others. So odd, but I think she should try asking. By the way, this might sound kind of weird, but do you by chance know the name Venom? Ah, so you do know them. I'm a friend of theirs. I can take you to, to them when we escape, so please just follow me. This is just great. I'm not getting out this way. There's gotta be another way to the elevator. No, wait, don't run off. We'll get caught. We should be good in here for the time being, but they aren't moving. Come on, I'm trying to get out of here. What is it, Brayson? Huh? They got the Giratina. Oh, no. Oh, that means Gira is gonna come back with Giratina. This is a Pokemon, isn't it? The legendary Pokemon Giratina? You're like you're trying to say something, but I can't understand you. The fuck? Hello? Oh, I got it. I have no idea what you're trying to tell me. Come on, get up. There's no time to sleep. In any case, I was thinking, maybe we should free this Pokemon. If you show keeping this thing down here, it can't be good. I'll release it. You seem against this idea, and I realize why that should be. But just the thought of keeping this thing down here makes me sick. He just starts to rampage with this thing in his arsenal. I think this is the right move. Oh, please be quiet. We're out here to escape this miserable situation. So please cooperate with us and we'll be out in a jiffy. I'll take that as a sign of compliance. I'm sorry. I mean mutual cooperation between two equal groups. I have no idea how I'm going to get a Pokemon this huge out, but... We'll make it work. Don't think we didn't hear you walking around in here. Oh, great. Crap, we took too long. It's bad. We can't fight a legendary Pokemon like Giratina. You want to fight, Brakeson? Looks like Giratina wants to as well. So if I didn't free it, chances are we would have had only Brakeson to fight with us. Seems like we are controlling Giratina, so... What's the best move in this situation? Oh, well, Brakeson's under-leveled, so there's nothing really I can do. Okay, luckily that wasn't hard as I thought it'd be. Ha! Huh, how does it feel, then? We're unstoppable! So this is the power of a legendary Pokémon. Now move us aside before... What? Don't leave us here! <laughs> hey, fellas. About before. Damn! What to do, what to do? What's going to happen to you now, Lavender? I told you not to make any attempt at escape. You are very sick, you see. Now you've released this putrid breaks in from her confinements. I didn't believe you'd be such a tactless patient, Lavender. Don't worry, though. I'll fix any loose ends. Breakson, leave me. I'll be fine. I can't go any further. Just go. Dex is right here, if that's what you want. Whether or not you escape is not my concern. You no longer have that device that allows you to effectively communicate with humans. An impressively device constructed by Nutter and Saki Blakery. Now, what shall we do with you? Are you going to help me, or are you just going to stare off into space forever? Oh, yeah, sorry. I was a bit distracted. Yeah, I've noticed. In fact, you've been like that ever since we got here. It's kind of pissed me off. Are you here to work or not? No, I am, I promise. Just that this place is... It's not worth talking about right now. Let's just get back to what we were doing. I won't space out anymore. Excellent! You can start by telling me what you found from the receptionist. We checked out those books about a month ago. I asked her if she acted strange or anything. She didn't have an answer for me. Oh, she did, but it went like, Ma'am, I just work here, so I get money off my tuition. And she sent me off. How polite of her! Anyway, there's something I wanted to check on, so I'm going upstairs to the lab. Got it. Good luck, Aaron. Let's see, it's time to find out what's logged into these databases. The library as grand as this must have something interesting. First, let's see what they have on Madame X. And enter. A lot of weird options here, but they do have an article on Madame X. Let's see what they got here. Scarce is right, they have nothing about her here. The year of the criminal organization of Team Zen, her whereabouts and goal are often speculated but not confirmed. Any, fur 
Any further in info on them is scarce. Madame X is still at large. Is there really no information about her anywhere? Eh, it's a waste of time. Let's try again. Maybe crazy for trying this, but... Crossing my fingers. Hmm? Only one entry. It's really surprising, considering the word interceptor isn't really that rare. Hmm, that's weird. It's with this icon at the end of the results tab. Sort of looks like... And just what are you doing? Ah! Oh, honestly. There's no need to scream so loudly. There's no reason to sneak up on people either. I've been standing here for like five minutes. What do you want then? I've been thinking about you for the past ten minutes. I came to the conclusion that you and I would make the most efficient power couple this entire region has ever seen. Now romantically, of course. Money is always first. Business partners, if you will. Join me and help me dominate this world for our incredible amount of partnerships and money. Now? Well, it was worth a try. I'd say that you're turning down quite the opportunity, though. I always try to give the, to the poor, but they're never willing to take. That disgusting pride they all have, it's holding them back. It's pretty ironic coming from you. Wait a minute, I recognize you. You're that guy that got my friends kicked out of this place. Oh, Juan and Huey. Not worth the time or energy to fuss over. They'll come crawling back as if nothing ever happened. It's commentary between bugs like them. Don't you dare talk about my friends like that! Yes, yes, whatever. It doesn't matter. So what are you doing in this computer? Let me see. Hey, hey! That's none of your business. Just who the hell do you think you are? Oh my, trying to get into a restricted oracle, I see. Then you get kicked out yourself? You're doing this all wrong. See, this is how you do it. Hold to my account so that you can access the article. Wait, what? I've said I'm logging into my account so you can view the article. There, yeah, everything's finalized. Read to your heart's content. It's really unlocked. Ugh, yes. That's what I said I was doing. Can't you listen? I just don't understand why you would help me out. There are four things I value in this world. Money, my family name, my company, and intellect. When I found you, it looked like you were actually trying to learn something. It's far more than what other people can say when they walk in here. All you want is to pass some exam and forget all that info. But you're different. Learning actually matters to you. You can say that trait of our cats of yours captivates me. So learn. Do whatever you must. Hey. What is it? You're a genuine asshole, but thanks. Hmm, no problem at all. What was your name again? Melia. Right, I should not forget it. What on earth is this feeling in my stomach? I feel weird. It's because I helped someone out. Oh dear. Lucille, this is Thomas. Schedule a doctor's appointment immediately. I feel like there's something very wrong with me. A mess. That's what he is. Anyway. There's no way this is true. What is going on here? I go tell Aaron what I found. Aaron, there's something I have to tell you. Hmm. Isn't that the same box from the theater? It's the same type of box, but it's not exact same one before. Some CPU guy just dropped it off here. It's for the both of us, apparently. What's inside of it? Nothing but a note and two medallions. As for one, it says, find a way, find the one with the truth somewhere in this library. We have to find someone? Apparently so. They probably know what's up with this box business. It's weird, but I guess I'll look for someone. You said you had something to tell me? Ah, oh, thanks for reminding me. Well, it's upstairs. I was researching something somewhat unrelated. Have you ever heard of the Interceptor? Can't say I have. Why? Back in the alternate timeline, Madame X called Juan the Interceptor. But she wouldn't tell me what that meant, and Juan wouldn't say anything either. So I decided to take things into my own hands and do some research. What I found was quite shocking, actually. Can you stop talking like a clickbaity news site and just tell me? Right, well, the term interceptor in this context comes from groove and culture. The interceptor is someone who interprets the phenomenon known as Fate's Passage. Fate's Passage? I've read about that before. It's believed that everything in this world belongs to an already written destiny. Everything we do was already predestined. Correct, but the Interceptor is the one who lives outside that law. The one that intercepts Fate's passage. But that's not all. According to the page I read, the Interceptor is usually called upon when the universe, will, when the world is in immense danger. When this happens, the being is brought into an act as a judge of this world. You're seen as some sort of last ditch effort. The Interceptor has the ability to send the world into peace or destruction. 
All up to the mercy of them. Relax, I'll give you guys both your good ending and your bad ending. You don't need to worry. Sometimes they know things that they shouldn't. They appear and disappear, as if they were just an apparition. When I read that, it reminded me of something that happened at Valor Mountain. Juan fell into a pit of lava, got absorbed by Waveltel, but they just appeared again. That also reminds me of something Alita told me. She said when Juan was with her in Kertos Mountain, they vanished. She couldn't find them no matter how hard she looked, and then one day they just showed up and appeared. I'm sorry, but there's a lot I have to think about. Go ahead and find the individual spoken about on the notes. Will do. Oh, and one last thing. Do you trust Swan? Well, my heart. If it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> I see. Carry on. Oh, excuse me, could you come here for a second? Very sorry for bothering you, but are you friends with Aaron? Oh, yeah, I am. Working here together on something. Eh, that's a relief. Aaron finally found a friend. There's been sort of a regular guest here at the museum. Every day she'd walk in here, go up those stairs and read, alone. It was really strange to me at the time. I asked myself, doesn't she have any friends? So one day I went and asked her if everything was okay. At first she tried to shoo me off, but I'm her assistant gal. Eventually she became annoyed to the point where she opened herself up to me. Turns out Aaron's peers bullied her to a point of depression. Hey Aaron, why are you so smart? Only nerds are that smart. Who dresses you? Your mother? Careful, Monica. I heard Aaron doesn't even have a mom. Boo hoo. Or that she doesn't have a dad either. Can you believe that? What a loser. Hey, Aaron. Where are you going? Don't leave without us. Chase her. Aw, Aaron. Stop crying. It was only a joke. What would your mom say if she saw you like this? Your dad would probably go off himself because of before admitting you were his daughter. Oh, look, it's Aaron. How many rocks in her big head take before it cracks open like an egg? Let's find out. Please. Stop. Hurting me. Distracted from people, she turned to books. It was a safe haven for her. I knew she seemed introverted, but I never would have thought that was a result. I'm glad she found someone as nice as you. Look after her. Aaron. See, she dyed her hair white as well. Aaron. Give me a moment. I ran down my thoughts in this notebook. Alright, what's up? Why are you looking at me like that? It's nothing. I just wanted to tell you about the truth from that box. You know what? I'm going to ask away. When we travel through time, now is the past, correct? Yes, I'm positive about it. Why are you so sure about that? Is it because Tampia and Spacia told you it was? I mean, yeah, but the whole thing was Sheridan and Vivian. I see. If that's the case, then things are about are starting to fall into place. I think I figured out something for a while now. I just need a bit more info before I can confirm it for myself. Of course, nothing's really confirmed, it's mostly just conjecture, but... Not a chance. I'm not going to say a thing until I'm 100% sure it's correct. Besides, if I just told you what I thought, you just finally follow what I say. Get your own theory before looking at mine. I'm assuming all your thoughts are in that notebook. You assumed correctly, but don't even think about looking. I'll be taking that. Now about that truth you mentioned before. We have to come back here with two Nightmare Medallions at night. Midnight, huh? Let me guess, you're going to try to hide somewhere in here, right? Yep. See? Wasn't that easy. People here really don't care. They nonchalantly check if everything's turned off and then leave. How do you know so much about this library, Aaron? Let's just say this place used to be a second home. You'll learn a few things when you're here all the time. Guess we should start looking around. Hello? I think this is the reason we were supposed to be here at night. Let's go. Y you want me to step on that thing? Yes, that's the whole damn point. Now let's go. Um, okay. Uh, where are we? Not the library, clearly. It's a whole lot of nothing. Nothing to the right, to the left. It's possible we could have fallen into some other dimension. I don't think it's another rift, but it's giving me the summer saint vibe. If truth turns out to be a whole lot of nothing, I'm going to be upset. Aaron, what is that? You're asking me? I have no idea. Man really likes to play tricks, doesn't he? Aaron? Don't do anything silly. Just run! Where are we going? 
Does it look like I know? Just keep doing it. You're not going anywhere. I don't think we're moving anywhere. Uh, yeah, we're not. Now we are. Run as fast as you can. I can see lights. Let's keep going further. Ugh, oh, what just happened? I didn't dream all of that, right? Certainly didn't dream that, I think. We seem to have somehow ended up in the restricted section of the library. Yeah, we were running away from that thing and now... Yep, and now we're not. Didn't that scare you? Why are you acting so calm? Eh, I've dealt with worse before. Now it's child's play. Looks like another box. Let's take a look. And I'm not sure if we'll be messing with these things anymore. So, we haven't been doing anything normal for ages now. Why should we stop when we're on a huge lead? Hmm, talk about a huge lead. There's a note and two tickets to the Grand Dream Ball. The note says the real truth shall be made known during the climax of the Grand Dream Ball. What is that? Sort of like the Dream Festival. Super formal, everyone has to show up in formal wear and everything. While we're going, I'm gonna need a shop for formal wear. Nonsense, have something you can wear at home. Only thing is, it takes place immediately after our matches at the tournament. We're gonna have to look like... We're gonna have to book it if we want to make it on time. It'll be a tight fit, but maybe we can fly there unhappy. That's fine with me. Maybe you can go all golden and teleport us there. I clearly know that's a joke, but it's frustrating to think about. I tried activating that light multiple times. Thought I could maybe bring back Venom with it, but... Just won't come up, come to me willingly. It's usually, usually only happens when I'm in a dire situation. That's useless. Yeah. Oh, it's a, oh, it looks like there's one last thing in this box. Yep, in this file, it says Project Rapture on it. Does the name bring any mills? Let's see. Melia, are you doing okay? You're trembling. It can't be true. This has to be a lie! Hey, hey, relax! If you yell, we, we might get caught. Give me the file. I want to take a look at it. Okay, then this is going to be a lot. Uh, let's see. This project is ranked F in confidentiality. All info included in this file should not be disclosed to any storm chaser besides Jenna and Karina. Jenna was a storm chaser as well? Okay. So this man was working two teams. He betrayed Melian twice. Project Rapture is the project of deceiving Melian into joining the Storm Chasers. Professor Jenner shall be given the snag machine by Redacted. He's in to notify Team Zen of Melian's presence at Goldenwood Forest. When this happens, Melian is to escape Goldenwood Forest and return to East Garen Laboratory. Professor Jenner would then send Melian to Route 2, where Spacey and Tampa would appear before her. He will give it the offer: transposition to distract any companions of Melia. Anyone who decides to aid her shall be thrown off the main pass. We've entrusted the TM Rock Smash to her for this very reason. Oh. Oh, now that makes sense. Because when we've battled the uh, Pulse, uh, what's its name, Musharna, Karina like made an offhand comment after Venom and Ren left like, I should have bought them enough time. So this is that. Following info should not be disclosed to Professor Jenner. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Okay, I can sort of see what it says now. On this info shall be in file Project Eradication. Okay, I couldn't read exactly what it said before. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the Storm Chaser is the name of the group you were a part of, right? The file is all about me. The event that started all of this. Seems that did plan to pick me up when I turned a certain age, but... Looks like Spacey and Tiempo took this opportunity to manipulate me. They pushed me into a corner where saying no wasn't an option. Made it look like I had a choice, but I didn't. This was all a game to them. I like Dad was in on this as well. But read the last few lines. The following info should not be disclosed, Professor Jenner. After the project is complete, eradication of Professor Jenner's status shall proceed. Oh, damn. Damn, man was going to be thrown away as soon as he helped. So they were just using him to get closer to you. Once his plan was complete, they planned on getting rid of him. And Spacey and Tiempo's eyes, that could only mean death. He knew too much. Bet they were happy when they found out Crescent already took care of him. Then Karina, someone who I thought was my friend, was in on it too. She even knew they were going to kill my dad. 
What is this information doing here? How could the puppet master get his hands on something like this? How many more lies have I been fed? All this time, I've done exactly what Spacey and Tampa wanted. They played me. I... I hate them. Let's calm down a bit, Melia. I understand your frustration and anger. You already cut ties with them, right? Is this why Crescent Wet Rogue? Did she find something else she wasn't supposed to? You plan to get rid of her at some point? Eh, let's not jump to conclusions. We can do that once we've gathered our thoughts. For now, we're done here. Let's get out before we got caught. You're right. Getting angry over this is dumb. I want to visit the arena before we leave. Well, we're here. There's nothing to really be special about this place. Why'd you want to visit it? This place. Aw, oh, man. This is supposed to be your gym. Supposed to be my gym. This place. Hmm. I never took you for the studious type. It was reconfigured for Lavender's taste. But if that day never happened, this where would have been a gym leader. You know what my dad said to me when I got accepted into the league? He said that he would be my first opponent. We were so excited. It was his idea that I joined the league. He said it would open up many opportunities. When we got all mixed up in this Team's End situation, now he was apparently a Storm Chaser. He got caught up in both and died for it. I'll never know his reasons for doing what he did. There's one thing I know for sure. He died trying to do the right thing. He tried to help us when he was in the worst possible position. He put us before himself, and for that I'll be eternally grateful. My one regret about all of this is that I... They'd even give him a chance to explain. I was so blinded by rage. So arrogant and stupid. Thought of everything in black and white. Perspective. You're with me or against me. Made the biggest mistake of my life, and now I can't take it back. What? Mistakes build us into better people. If you'd ever made a mistake, you wouldn't grow. Some mistakes are bigger than others, yes. There's no use in feeling bad for yourself. What's done is done. The best thing we can do is try to be better because of it. Besides, we both read that file, right? There was something in there that didn't add up. I don't remember reading about making you a gym leader. You said that was his idea. Yeah, what about it? Well, if he was so loyal to that Project Rapture bullshit, then why would he go out of his way to do that? Actually, this is conjecture, but I believe he had his own plans in store for you. He wanted to make you strong so that you could follow your own destiny. That you wouldn't fall into the clutches of Team Zen, or those demons. I see. <laughs> Thank you so much for bringing that to light. I get it now. This makes you feel better, that is. Air, but I'm not a gym leader. I don't. So, have you ever played pretend? I'm honestly happy now. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay, I accept your challenge. Now let's get started already. Now listen, I'm not a trainer. Don't expect some impressive fight on my part. All that matters is that you're willing to do this. All I could ever ask for. Yeah, yeah, on guard and all that. Start off with Mimikyu, uh, Souls of Dance. You fucked yourself. Bye bye. Up next is Absol. Go to Happy. That's in Gleam. Then Goose up next. Uh. Oh damn, he flitched. How does Quick Attack do that much damage? Someone tell me how. Ampharos is the Avium Ampharos, I know that, so... What would do more damage? Heavy Slam or... Be high horsepower now. Please don't do this. Okay, Butterfree up next. My shield's still down, so Shadow Claw. Do you need to go to a Pokemon? 
Ness and Gleam. What do you have up next, bro? Swanna. I did say I wasn't a trainer, right? I'm losing, but I'm having fun. Okay, done. Hmm. Unity. You missed. She got 6 owed. <laughs> that was the expected outcome, but I had fun. The support is that we had fun. Isn't that what most people say after they lose or something? Sure is. I didn't think battling will ever be for me, but I will admit that I did have some fun in that fight. Thanks. Aaron? I just don't really have many opportunities to feel that way, so whenever I do, I don't know how to react. I don't understand. I've never had real friends. I've never had real parents. I've never had a real life of my own. I just did the same routine over and over. Well, that changed when, I, when Alita appeared. Suddenly felt like I finally became part of something. So that gives my life some sort of worth and meaning. Just wanted to say that I appreciate it, you all. You, Huey, Lavender, Venom, Juan, Alita, Cannon. Aaron has been with me so far. Thank you all for breaking me out of my prison. We did, we'll be there to break you out no matter what. Because now you're part of our group, our family. We have to look after each other. Because when we're out there fighting evil, there won't be anyone but us. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thank you, Melia.